Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to my channel. And today I'm part of the Mini Kit Monday group, and as a guest designer, and so is Krista. And the others in the the ones that's actually in the group is Becky, Tracy, Dolly, Daisy, and Shannon. And I am scrapping this picture of my grandson today. And he's at the park and he's playing. And see that yellow thing on the right of the picture? It's got like a spiral thing that goes down through there. And it's kind of like a spiral staircase, but it's not. But they use it as one. They just kind of go around and around it with their feet just scooting all the way down. And they managed to go up and down. I guess it was made for that. But yeah, they like to play on it. And Jake usually goes 90 to nothing. So I was pretty good getting this picture. I got quite a few, actually. Maybe it was after he was getting tired. I don't remember. But I did get them. And my idea with my layout today is to create a spiral effect, kind of, sort of. It did not turn out anything like I had in my imagination. And, oh, the name of this kit collection is imagination by photoplay but yeah that's what i was imagining when you see what i do to the page that was it page turn out i like the colors on it and, ha and how it looks oh i cut these strips at four and a half and i'm going to use the little short ones too and i'm cutting the corners uh, with that chomper and it's one quarter inch chomper and those are like my stairway things coming down. And I first thought about doing it just in red. And I thought, no, maybe i use another color. Uh, well, there's some blue in his jeans. And then I thought, well, why not use three colors? One's good, two's better, three's got to be awesome. So I used green as my third color. But yeah, it's going to spiral down to the left and to the right and then back to the left again. And I did ink all of these in the color that they are. So blue on blue, red on red, and green on green. It's not real noticeable in the video. It's kind of subtle, but it gave it a little more dimension. And you will see ink on my fingers. Oh, and I want to apologize for the big bruise on the back of my hand. I had an IV in there, and it'll probably last a couple of weeks. They don't go away very quick, but at least it's not as dark as some. But I did want to let you all know that it wasn't dirt. The back side of this paper has little monsters all over it. They're not very big, they're tiny. But I'm more of a B-side person. I will use the other, but my favorite's always the B-side. I have to sometimes make myself use the other. But some of it, like these are small. I think it'd be really cute. So I'm going to try to resist using the yellow stripe again on the layout. But you know, if I run across one of those from the park, it might be hard to resist. But I do love the colors that's in this collection. I think they are so pretty. And see those little monsters on the back there? They're not very big, but they are cute. So I might end up using that side instead of the yellow. Because I do like it. Of course, I might figure out a way to use a little more yellow and a little of that too. Just so I can have it in one of my layouts. Not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, I must have got the foam tape. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like. I pulled this banner off of the sticker sheet. But earlier, <laughs> I did fussy cut all the white off from around it. A few other of the stickers. Some of the stickers didn't have no white for me. The fussy cut that I put on here. But yeah, I had to do it on a T-Rex and the little monster. But then I didn't have to do it on the astronaut that I'm going to put on here. But I also did it on the little airplanes, the paper airplanes. Yeah, I don't know why they just can't make them all with no white around there. It would make me so happy. Um... This sticker here says, whatever we can imagine. And then I'm going to put a word bubble, phrase bubble. I guess it would be phrase because it's two words. And it says, oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Like I said, I 
am out of the frame a little bit here. I moved it up like, oh, I would say a good six inches. I'm pretty sure that's about what it was. And it's the same place I'd had it before and moved it down. And I decided I wanted it up higher. So it went up higher. And here I'm putting the foam tape on that astronaut. And I kind of tucked one of his feet behind the, um, oh, that, the strips that I have going around there. See how that is? But I went ahead and <laughs> put twine on the layout. So you can't tell as good that it looks like he's stepping over it since I put the twine on there. But I did run it through his hand so it looked like he had a hold of it. Maybe that'll make up for it. Yay me! <laughs> I was just sitting there looking at it and I undid the twine. It wasn't glued down as good as I would have thought. So now I can see his foot again. I'm happy again. But I'm working on my title now and I pulled that awesome sticker out. And each letter is a different color, so I really like that. And I thought, what am I going to make my title and use that with? So oh, it's not super original, but it's Awesome Day at Play. And I got to use some of those really old green thickers. Yeah, they're, I don't even remember when I bought them. But I've had them a long time, so I was glad to use them. I don't have any more A's, but I can use something else to fill in as an A on my words. And I have those two airplanes. And they are so cute. <laughs> I almost felt guilty using both of them on the same layout. They show shadows on them. So it really makes them more three-dimensional. And then, of course, I added foam tape behind them. And so they really look good on the page because of the shadows that's on the sticker and the shadows that's beneath the sticker. And, oh, here I'm doing the twine. And I kind of sort of cheated with the twine. But I didn't even think about it until after I used it. But, yeah, we had like $25 to spend. And twine was not on the list. I keep it right there on the desk in front of me. So, because I have loads. And so if I happen to think of using it that I will use it because it's right there in front of me instead of across the room like it was for a good while. So I rarely think about using it then. I think about it a little more now, but I want to think about it even more than this. But yeah, I'm going to run some twine through here and put enamel dots on and then I will be done with my layout. And uh, yeah, see, I use the blue twine. Well, it's kind of a teal blue you know it's got just a tinge of the teal in it but it's mostly blue it looks a lot like the blue that's on the layout that's the color blue it is only it's kind of got a teeny tiny tinge of blue i mean teal just a teeny tiny tinge and i am making some loops in it and like i said earlier i'm going to run it right through the astronaut's hand so it looks like he's holding on to it that he's out servicing the satellite up there and he needs a lifeline <laughs> so he don't float away out in space but yeah the twine and then the enamel dots is the last i've got for the layout the thing that took the most was the spiral staircase <laughs> coming down through there that don't really look like a spiral staircase <laughs> now that i've got it on the page but it is colorful and it does add depth dimension and there's texture on the red and the green there isn't on the blue but you know that's fine i was lucky to find that color of blue and i was wanting that color of blue um here's my enamel dots and they're from freckled fawn so they're just like scattered all over the page where everybody else puts them in a straight line. Freckled Vaughn makes it a game, so you have to search and rescue each one of the enamel dots that you pull off of there because they're not going to be together. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of my layout. I will leave the links below for Krista, who's the other guest designer, 
And then, of course, all the rest that's in the group, which is Becky, Tracy, Dolly, Daisy, and Shannon. And I really enjoyed making this kit out of the recipe that Shannon came up with. And, of course, I loved, loved, loved doing the layout. Uh, because that's like one of my most favorite things to do. Besides be with the grandkids. I do enjoy that. Especially when they start telling me everything they've been up to since the last time I seen them. But I will leave links below for everybody. And if you want to leave a comment below in the comment section, I'll get back with you. And if uh, you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. But thank you all for watching. I hope you have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.